Steam has given the ban hammer to one developer's games after discovering user review scores were being manipulated. Incel Games, whose games include Guardians of Ember, World of Fishing, and Tritium Wars, had all of its content purged from the PC gaming platform. A post on Reddit claimed the company's CEO was threatening to fire employees who didn't buy the games and then leave positive feedback on Steam. Valve investigated and said it discovered what it called unacceptable behavior involving multiple Steam accounts owned by the publisher. Valve said that behavior led it to sever its business relationship with Incel Games and remove its titles from Steam. Gaben's fury is swift and whole. Seriously, this is pretty brutal. Taking games off of Steam has the potential to break a small studio since they're going to be harder to find now. On the other hand, fabricating reviews is gross. They should have just spent that time and energy on actual marketing, not fake marketing. Of course someone was gonna figure it out. Ryan Murphy, the creator of Glee and American Horror Story, is getting paid, majorly paid as a matter of fact. The producer just signed on with Netflix for a reported five year, $300 million deal. That number, if accurate, makes it one of the biggest deals ever for a television producer. Netflix already scooped up Murphy's The Politician and his One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest prequel, Ratchet. Also, his current FX programs won't be affected and will still air on the network. Murphy said, The history of this moment is not lost on me. Noting that when he came to Hollywood from Indiana in 1989, he had $55 in his savings. He added the realization of his dreams is emotional and overwhelming. That's pretty incredible and also makes me feel like I'm doing life wrong. Like, how did he do that? I digress. Looking forward to seeing what comes out of the deal. And man, Netflix seems to just be getting bigger and bigger when it comes to paid exclusives. It feels like streaming services and their subscribers are finally learning what console wars feel like. Welcome to the stream wars. The hits just keep coming for Ubisoft. Yesterday, the company revealed For Honor, the game where knights, vikings, and samurai hack each other to bits, reached a new milestone. Since launch, For Honor has built a player base of 7.5 million, with a million unique players every month. For Honor is one of Ubi's games as a service, and its long-term success is good news for Ubisoft's plan to extend the legs of games like Assassin's Creed Origins. Yesterday, Ubisoft said, rather than begin work on a whole new Assassin's Creed, it would instead focus on extending the life of Origins with new content. It's working well for For Honor, which released exactly one year ago today, as well as Ubisoft's other service games like Rainbow Six. Even Wildlands was pretty successful. It's crazy because I feel like I rarely hear about For Honor or Wildlands, but they have huge player bases. And that's your daily fix for February 14th. Oh, hey, happy Valentine's Day. Now that you're caught up on the news, watch our unofficial IGN preview of Assassin's Creed Origins Discovery Tour. It's loaded with swear words. With that, I'm Alana Pierce. Don't forget to download the IGN app. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.